Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dinandhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can set up a shared SSL certificate in, in Catalog and, of course, in your .NET Duke website. So uh, this is a site that I have done that already, but I'm going to just go through the, the settings that I had to change to make that work. Okay, so first thing that I have to do is that I have to log into the backend as super user. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm here in the backend of the site as super user. I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to host, host settings. So I have to set up the shared certificate in DNN first of all. So from here in the host settings, I can scroll all the way down under, actually this is not under here, this is under admin site settings. Sorry about that. So let's go there to admin site settings and then let's go to advanced settings and to SSL settings. So under SSL settings in the site, we have four, four settings that we have to set up. First is SSL enabled to, you have to check this option if you want to uh, enable SSL, enable uh, the, the secure URL. Uh, SSL enforced when this, this option is checked. If you try to go to a page that is not marked as secured, then you will be automatically redirected to the unsecure, to the standard URL. So if this option is selected, then, then what will happen is that again, if the page is not marked as secure, it will go to the standard URL instead of the secure URL. So, uh, in regards to the secure URL, this is the place that you, you can put it. Now, in our case here, again, it's a shared URL. And this is my shared URL. And the standard URL is this one here. Okay, so uh, now once this is done, I just have to update uh, to save this by clicking update. Now, when I do that, because I have added uh, a secure URL, what .NET Nook will do, it will create an alias for this portal with the secure URL. This is done automatically by DNN, so you don't have to worry about that. I just want to bring that to your attention because as you can see here, under the, under the alias list, we also have the secure alias here because this is done automatically by DNN. Now, this is as far as you're going to go in regards to doing SSL settings uh, within .NETTOOK. Now, the, the next settings will be more related to catalog. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the cart page because now we have to set up the cart page and the store page as secured pages. So, DNN will automatically redirect those pages to the secure URL. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the cart page, first of all. So let's go to, let's go to the home page and then there's a cart link there. Here's the cart link. So we have to set up the cart page as a secure page. Okay. This, this page here, we have to set up it as secure page. Now, before we go and do that, let's go to, let's select edit here at the top to make sure that we are in edit mode. And there is one setting under the, the cart module that you may be tempted to check that. If, if you, we are here in the cart module, and if we go to the action menu, just go to view options. And then there is a, there is a, an SSL option there called, and let me see if I can find it. See, here it is. Redirect credit card data form to SSL, HTTPS. Now, you must, you, you might be tempted to check this box here, but you should not do that because we are not using, uh, we are using a shared SSL. We are not using a private SSL. So you should not check this box if you are using a shared SSL as we are using now. But if you are using a, a private SSL, then you can definitely check this. 
And the difference is uh, that a private SSL will have your domain name, will have the same domain name. The only difference it, it will be that it will be HTTPS instead of HTTP, and it will be the same domain. Now, a shared SSL is a little bit different. It has a different uh, domain as compared to your original domain. So in our case here, we are setting up a shared SSL. So you should not check this option here. Now let's go back to our card page. So from here, we are in the card page. From here, we're going to go to settings of this page. And under settings, we should go to advanced settings. And then we should check secure. We have checked this because the, the card page will be secure. So we have the checkbox there and we just click update. Now we're going to repeat this process as well to the to the page that has the store module. So we're going to we're going to secure two pages. One is the card page, the other one is the store page. So let's go back here. And let's go to our store page. Let's go to the home page. Let's click one of the products. So I'm going to click buy it now. No, sorry. Yes, that's buy it now. So here is the store page. And in this case, it's showing one specific product, but this is the store page at the end of the day. So let's go to the settings of this page as well and do the same thing here. Settings and then scroll down, click advanced settings, scroll down. And then let's go to secure, check this option, click update. And we are pretty much done here. So we are done here. And now if I log out from the website, sorry, um, I click log out and I go to the home page. I go to the products. I click on buy now. You will see at the top that it is already redirecting to the secure URL. So that's it for now. This is a, this video just showing how you can set up a shared SSL certificate in a .NET Took website using uh, Catalog. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.